Marialinda12 joined the chat. Hi, Sin, my best friend. Hello, Maria. Do you want to join my group chat with some of my other friends? They won't tease me just because I'm bacon, will they? Nah, they don't care about how much money somebody has. Actually, there is a guy. Oh, I see. But he's always just joking around. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Well, you can go ahead and add me. Okay. In the group chat. <laughs> I can't believe you really said that to him. You should be there. His face looks very funny. Ew. Who is this bacon? Um, I am. Do you know why your refrigerator doesn't have milk? Because your dad left you. Ha ha, you're dumb. Oh. Justin, shut your f*** off. Please behave properly and stop acting so childish. This is Sin, my best friend, the person I told you about before. Yeah, hi. I'm Sin. I'd appreciate it if we didn't make fatherless jokes about me. Because my dad actually died a few months ago and it's been pretty rough. Of course. It's nice to meet you, Sin. Nice to meet you. I was just joking, but nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. So, should we do name, age, pronouns, and face reveal? All oh, right, right. Sure. sure. Okay, I'll go first. You all know who I am, but my name is Maria. I'm 17, I use any pronouns, and this is me. I love your You're makeup. You're beautiful. You look Slay. hot. You are all so nice. Thank you. I want to go next. My name is Emma, and I'm 15. My pronoun is she or her, and this is me. Pretty. You're so cute. Beautiful. Wonderfully beautiful. I've never seen anyone as gorgeous as you. Please marry me. All I want is you. Wow, Justin. Um, I mean... Okay, anyway, my turn. My name is Saint. I'm 16. My pronoun is he, him, and this is me. God damn. The most you attractive guy I've ever I known. I love your hair color. Nice, bro. My turn. I'm seen. I'm 17. My pronoun is she or her, and this is me. Literally so gorgeous. Say I some can't believe it. For us, girl. You're cute, I guess, but not as cute as Emma. Well, I think that was a compliment, so thanks. Yeah, okay, anyways. You are saving the best for last. Unlikely. <laughs> no. Shut your mouth, you bastard. I shouldn't have complimented you, smug bacon. That's why you don't have any Robux. <laughs> yeah, that shut you up. Anyways, time for my hot face reveal. Are you guys ready for the hottest guy you've ever seen in your lives? Yes. Oh my god, daddy. How? I'm lesbian. You guys suck. Only if you're offering. What? What? Okay, well anyways. I'm Justin, 16. He or him or they or them, and this is me. Not bad. I like your style. Okay, you are kind of handsome. See? I told you I was hot. No one said you were hot. Don't flatter yourself. I hate you. Is Saint okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I have a question for Justin. Oh no. What's wrong, guys? You will know soon. Do you need a dog? Oh god, I should have known. Because I can bark. Here's an example. Here it come. Bark, 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 bark. Oh my god, his Wi-Fi. We're going to be here for a while. Does this happen often? Oh yeah, Saint is a huge simp for Justin. Though we're all pretty sure he is joking. Yeah, I mean, if he liked me, he can confess with me now. What do you think? I suppose that's reasonable. Alright well, I'm going to go take a nap. Wake me up when he is done. Good idea, see you later. Hmm, do you guys want to play games? Okay, sure. This is a good idea. We will come back later. Two hours later. Oh my god, still? We've been playing for two hours. Don't worry. I bet he'll be done soon. I hope so. I can't hear his bark anymore. He's done. Thank god. Hi, Saint. I'm so sorry. I didn't know the Wi-Fi would cut off at that exact moment. I'm really sorry. It's okay, Saint. It's not your fault. I will call Justin. You guys just keep talking. Yes, bring him back. So, how about your day? Good. Same as normal. I had to be honest. Saint, I think you're super cute and hot. Like hotter than everyone else in this group chat. No offense, Emma. 
I know you're more interested in boys, but if you want to meet a girl, I'm right here. Oh wow, that's so sweet. I'm so sorry to tell you this. I gave myself enough time to understand my sexual orientation, and I've discovered that I'm not really into women at all. Okay, I totally understand. I just want to tell you my feelings. Sorry, if I made you uncomfortable. It's fine. Don't worry. Scene. Can I private chat with you real quick? Oh, um, sure, Emma. In the private chat? What the hell are you doing? Back the fuck <coughs> off. Huh? What do you mean? Look, if this is about me saying you are not as attractive as Saint. It's not about that. You're dumb ass. So, can you tell me what it's about? Saint is mine. I don't want to see you talking with him at all. Or I will find you and hunt you down. Do I make myself clear? And if you tell anyone about this, I will find your IP address and send it to them. What's wrong with you? Are you serious? You act like you're only eight years old. I don't accept trifles with a kid like you. Also, Saint just told us he was gay. I'm going to make sure that changes. Eight and homophobic. Girl, you are weird. I'm not homophobic. Also, I'm not eight. Shut your f***ing <coughs> mouth. You're trying to make a gay dude stop being gay so he'll like you. That sounds homophobic to me. And at your age, no one is obsessed with someone like that. Are you really 15? Ugh, I will not argue with you about that again. You know what? I'm gonna tell everyone what you're telling me. <laughs> no one will believe you. Besides that, if you do, I will find you anyway. Whatever, I will tell everybody. Back into the group chat. And then I said. Hi guys. Hi Sin. Welcome back. Well firstly, that's not what I said. And secondly, this silly girl is very rude for interrupting me. Fine, do what you want. I need to tell you all something important. Oh, what is this? Wait, where is Emma? That's what I was going to say. Emma threatened to find out my address. Hurt me and leak it to you all because I said Saint is hot. She warned me not to tell anyone but I don't think I should hide it. So what do you do when your friend threatens to harm you out of jealousy? Ahaha, <laughs> no way. What are you talking about? So you are trying to tell me that the girl I've known for six years and liked for four years is threatening you? What's a joke? You guys want proof? I'll get you some f***ing <coughs> proof. Scene leaves and realizes her message with Emma is gone. What the hell? Why did that message disappear? Scene's other messages also gradually disappeared. Oh, I understand. Did that girl hack me? I can't believe it. I have to tell the others. Meanwhile, with the rest of the group. What do you guys think? Is it a prank? I don't know. She sounded pretty serious. Yeah, me too. Oh, come on, dude. Why are you even defending her? She's pretty easy to read, though. Whatever. I won't let a newbie destroy the relationship between me and the girl I like. Guys, you won't believe this. My messages with Emma is gone and other chat too. I think she's hacking me and deleting all of my chats. Okay, now I am sure that can't be real. You really thought that we would believe you? What I say is true. I don't know how to prove it to you guys. I swear I'm not joking. I've never been as serious as I am now. I'll find Emma to prove that what I said is true. Sin, that's enough. All right, it was fun at first, but it's gone too far. Scene, are you sure you're not jealous? Because you know I'm in love with Emma and you want to be with me? What? Oh my god, Justin. Sian's joke about Emma doesn't make me feel as ridiculous as what you just said. I think I'm gonna puke. This is the reason why I like Emma. She's much nicer than you all. Oh, here she is. Hey, who do you think you are? How dare you hack me and get me in trouble like this? Let them know what happened between you and... CI in the best 23 has been kicked. Damn. Maria, were you really mad with her? I never saw you kick someone. No, it's not me. I even don't understand what happened. So, who kicked her? I do it. I'm a hacker. What? what? I hacked into Maria's account and made myself an administrator in this group chat. 11,630 Cooksey, Adkins. You should have trusted her. Now, you might lose her. But that doesn't matter, because soon I'll make the love of my life madly in love with me. Get ready, saint. You will be mine and no one is allowed to touch you. 
What the hell just happened? Is she really in love with me? I wish she was talking about me, but... Guys, Sin wasn't joking. Everything she tells us about threatening or hurting is true. The address Emma tell us is Sin's house. What? Are you serious? Please tells me it's a joke. Please tell me that the girl I love more than anything isn't insane and willing to keep the girl for a guy she likes. A guy that isn't me. Justin, this is not the time for jokes. My best friend is in danger. But are you sure it's Scene's house? Maybe she just took a random address from the fake address websites? Yeah, I'm sure. I have been friends with Sin since we were toddlers. And I've been over to her house numerous times. I know where the f*** she lives. But what if? No. I meant. No, Justin. Just stop that. Do you understand this situation? My best friend of almost 15 years is in danger. Just because your crush is crazy jealous. And you still act like nothing. I need you to take this shit seriously. I do take it seriously. And I also know that there's a chance that Emma isn't going to do anything. Justin, she literally sent us Tian's address. What the hell does she have to do unless there's malicious intent? You two need to meet me at that address in two hours. I know you to live in Atkins, so please help her or help me. So, um, are you going? Yeah, dude. Did you see how upset and scared Maria was? I don't want to do this. I'm so confused now. The girl I loved for a year now turns out to be a crazy b What am I supposed to do now? What we need to do now is help our friend save someone. She really cares about. I know you're sad, but you need to stay awake now. Maria needs us. She can't only do it on her own. But I even don't know scene. But you know Maria, right? And you care about her. We need to get over there and help both of them for Maria. You're right. If not for scene, it would be for Maria I'm going to. Then, I guess, I'll see you there, man. I'll see you there. Drive safely. You too. Meanwhile with scene in real life. What the hell? Did Maria kick me out of the group? No, she wouldn't do that. It must be Emma. Hum, who texted me? Oh, it is Maria. Sin, please answer me. Maria, what's wrong? Emma send us your address. She knows where you live. You need to hide. Lock all your doors and hide. Justin, Saint and I are on the way to help you. Oh my god, are you serious? Should I call the police? No, we'll handle it. Please just stay safe until we get there. We'll be there as soon as possible. Two hours tops. Okay, please hurry. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Emma really came to find me. I should lock all the doors quickly. After she locks everything but the front door. Okay, just have only front door. I will be safe. Well, hello scene, found you. He hey Emma, what's going on? Whoa, I are you here? Don't play dumb, you know exactly why I am here. Please, clam down, we can talk about it. You don't need the weapon. I don't have anything to talk with you. No, get away from me. Come back here, bitch. <laughs> Meanwhile. Go, I hope she's okay. I hope I can get there in time. Justin and Saint should be there when I come. After one hour, she finally came to Saint's house. Saint? Oh, hi Maria. I didn't think you came so early. Yeah, I had tried my best. I don't want to hear you yelling at me if I come late. Haha, <laughs> you're right. I really do it. And I want to help you as much as I can. By making sure Sin is okay. Ah, thank you so much, Saint. That means a lot to me. We're friend, right? So it's okay. I think we should go inside. The door's been busted down or something. I think Emma got here first. Oh shit, I didn't notice it. Let's come inside. Inside the house. Sin, where are you? This place is a mess. Oh no, no, please tell me that can be true. Did we come too late? No, I don't want to think about that. Let's just keep looking. 
Well, it's amazing to see you to coming here. Sin, what did she do to you? Are you okay? Uh, I feel pain everywhere, but at least I'm still alive. Shut up. You already know what happens next. Emma, you can't do this. Why not? This shit wants you for herself, and I will never let that happen. I have said many times that I don't like Saint. He literally said he was. Shut your mouth. Emma, stop, please. That's enough, Emma. I don't like her. She's just my friend, so let her go. She's still an obstacle to our relationship. I won't let anything ruin it. I'm gay, a gay dude. I don't like girl. Do you understand? I can't like you. But that's so unfair. I loved you since the day we met. You can't be gay. That's not how it works. I'm sorry, Emma. I can't come back from this. Can I? Nope. Absolutely not. Then I will finish what I started. Wait, please. No, Emma, don't. No. Oh my god. Who the hell did that? Are you guys okay? Just Justin. Justin. You hit her? What did you use? A pan. Oh my god. Are you crazy? What was I supposed to do? To be fair, it's not like the rest of us could have done anything. We need to help her. Oh, Sin, she tried to kill you and now you want to help her. I know, but Justin hit her. I just try to help. You are welcome. So you come here to save her because she is your friend? No, I never said that. I help her because I know you care about her and I don't want to see you sad. You're so sweet, Justin. Um, guys, I think we should bring her to the hospital now. We don't know how hard Justin hit her. Saint is right. I will call the police and prepare some stuff. And then we will come to the hospital to check her condition. Oh god, what are we gonna tell the police? We need to be honest with them. I'm sure they'll understand. Now make sure she doesn't die. I will be right back. Two days later in the hospital waiting room. Hayes, I'm glad that everything was resolved smoothly. You're right. We are really lucky. Yeah, you guys did. But from tomorrow on, I have to spend a month serving the community for my behavior. I'm sorry to hear this. But it's okay. At least I protected my friend. You finally admit that we're friends. I'm not saying that. You did. Sin, I'm so happy to see that you are okay. Me too. Let's tell us what happened. Okay. So long story short, Emma left me with a few bruises when she hit me. Then I was tied up as you can see. It's nothing too serious. I hope you will get well soon. By the way, where is Emma? Room 235. She still has to stay in bed for a few days. To monitor her condition. You see, she got hit quite hard on the head by someone with a pen. Hey, I know it's not cool to hit someone, but I didn't know what else to do. It was the first thing that came to my mind. Tell me, what would you all have done in a situation like that? Huh, I guess you're right. It'd be hard to decide what to do in that kind of situation. Yeah, honestly, I'd probably just run away. Exactly, thank you. Hey, are you Emma's friend? Nope. Kind of. Yep. Okay, well, she's looking for a group of four other teens. Saint, Maria, Justin, and Scene. Yeah, that's us. She said she wanted to talk with you. If you don't want to, you don't need to that. But whoever does, please come with me. I'll go. I know it hard for you guys to see her right now. But we've known each other for a long time. I hope we can sit down and talk. I bet it would be nice for her to see that you all don't completely hate her. Well, if Justin is going, so I will go too. Sin, I know you're stressed out right now. So come when you really want or are ready. See you guys later. How about you? I don't know. It's okay, Sin. I will stay by your side whenever you need me. But I still feel so scared. Thinking about what she did to me makes me nervous. What if she continues to attack me if I go in there? You are safe now, Sin. The doctor and other staff check on her every day. And you have me. I will protect you. I will not let it happen again. Thank you, Emma. I, I want to come. All right, let's go together. Why did it take you guys so long? Just shut up. They were here. 
Sorry for the long wait. It's fine. At least you finally came. Sin, Emma has something to tell you. Um, Sin, I happy to see you fine. I know what I've done to you is unforgivable. I have caused you a lot of pain. I hope I have a chance to make up for it in the future. And I'm so sorry. Really, really sorry you. I can say this was a horrifying experience for me. But you already have this apologetic attitude. I can't do anything else. Don't do that again from now on. And you look friendly without intent to kill someone. <laughs> Thank you. All you guys are so nice. Thank you guys for forgiving me. The End A Saturday Morning at Isabel's House The grass grows so fast these days. Ouch! What was that? Hey, is someone behind the fence? Throw me the ball. Who are you? And what is that rude attitude? Oh, there's a funny girl here. Give the ball to me, will you? What a rude little boy. You threw your ball at my head. Aren't you going to say sorry? Okay, sorry. Satisfied yet? Now throw it here. I need it for practice. Very well. How about this? What the? Ha ha ha. How do you feel now? Hey, have you completely lost your mind? You crazy little girl. Shut up. That's what you get for being rude to me. I'll have my revenge. Just you wait. The next Tuesday. Everyone, we have a new student today. Help him to get along with you, all right? Who could it be? Come on, come in, boy. Thank you, sir. What? You gotta be kidding me. Hi, everyone. I'm Carmen, a new guy in this class. Please help me to get along with you all. It will be a pleasure for me. Well spoken, boy. Your seat is over there. Yes, sir. Never go away. Oh no, I can't speak it out. Whoa. Isabel, why did you scream? No, nothing, sir. There was a spider here. All right. <sighs> okay. Hello, girl. How are you? Zip it, boy. Okay. You don't have to be so tense, you know. But remember, don't you dare to forget what you did to me. I'll make you pay. Hey, it's not funny. Then I'll make it funny. One time. Hum, I feel something abnormal. That little troublemaker is not here. But why should I care? What's in my bag? Oh, what the? What? A tarantula? <coughs> Go away. I hate spiders. Hey, hey, calm down. What was that? You. <coughs> Why are you hitting me? What's wrong with you? You can still pretend to be innocent, huh? Why did you put that tarantula in my back? What are you talking about? Look at it. Oh. Hey, you fool. Put it down. It has venom. Ha ha ha. How funny you are. It's not a real one, girl. What did you say? It's just a plastic tarantula, and you're afraid of it. You are not as strong as I think you are. Shut up, you insane boy. Then I'll show what an insane boy is. <coughs> Cut it out. I'll destroy you, boy. In your dreams, girl. Another time during the test. Okay, everyone, I guess you know, you'll have a math exam today. Do it well. Oh no, it's too hard. Ha ha ha, it serves right. Carmen, it's not funny teasing people again and again. I mean it, boy, but it's funny to me, girl. 30 minutes later. How can I solve this? It's too hard. Hoo hoo hoo. I should help her. B B D B D C. 
Seed Dita. What on earth are you singing? Isabel, come on. Remain silent, you two. It was him, teacher. Three minutes before test time ends. B B D B D C C D T A. Enough, Carmen. Keep your mouth shut. Well, I'm trying to help you, but you're smart enough to recognize that. See ya. Excuse me, teacher. I need to use the bathroom. You can go, Carmine. Hurry up, Isabel. You only have a few seconds left. Okay, teacher. B B D B D C C B D A. Maybe those letters are the answers. I should circle them. Done, teacher. I finished the test. Well done. Wait for a few more days to get your result. Next week. Attention, everyone. Prepare to take back your exam result. You did it well this time. Thank, Thank you, teacher. teacher. What? Unbelievable! I got ninety-five scores. Carmen, which score did you get? I have no reason to answer you. What an arrogant boy! After that. Carmen, wait a minute. What do you want? Listen, I want to say thank you for helping me. Don't mind that. I was trying to show off, girl. Bye bye, dear. Whatever. He is such a little troublemaker. When Isabel was walking home, she met someone. Little girl, how are you? I'm not okay. Have a piece of chocolate. It can cheer you up. Thanks. But I hate chocolate. I don't care. Just come with me. No, leave me alone. You should be a nice girl instead of a stubborn one. Get off me! Help! Zip it. Let my sister go. I called a policeman already. Oops! I should run. Freeze. Sir, it's all right now. Can you arrest him later? Please bring us home. No problem, but where are your parents? They're still in company, so we walk home. Little girl, don't ever stay too far from your brother. You could be in danger if we didn't come at the right time. Yes, sir. I understood. Good girl, get in the car. I will take you to home. Here we are. Thank, Thank you, sir. You are welcome, children. You should always be careful. Don't repeat what happened. Okay, we understood. Bye, bye, children. See ya. I'm going home. Carmen, I think you are not a naughty boy at all. Do you want us to be friends? I've got no problem with that. I don't hate you either. I make fun of you because you look cute when you lose it, and I'm sorry for putting that plastic tarantula in your bag as well. Don't bother. I forgive you. Thank you, girl. After that, a friendship developed between the two of them. But just one year later, for a reason, Carmen moved to another the country for a few years. Who, who, who? Can you please don't go? Isa, are you crying because of me? Seriously, I have no idea why you can still tease me now. Okay, listen. I'm not leaving forever. I will come back soon, and of course, you will always be in my mind. Thank you, boy. I'm gonna miss you and your pranks. Take this plastic tarantula. I know it looks nasty. Our friendship will never fade as long as you still keep it. Okay. Take this with you, boy. A wooden salmon, huh? That's right. Ho. Oh. How exciting! I'm not gonna lose it, but I gotta go now. Oh, all right. See you soon, girl. <laughs> Goodbye, boy. More than one decade later. Congratulations, my girl. You did it well. Thank you, dear. You will go to college after summer. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm not sure. 
But I feel that I will meet an old friend today. Do I know him or her? I guess not. He is my childhood friend. Okay, that sounds nice. Let me take you home, Izapare. No, just go home first, Sam. I will stay here for a little longer. We will meet again at my house tonight. Very well, if you say so. Call me whenever you need. All right, Sam. I can't believe I still have you by my side. You look gross. Can I ask, how did you get that? My friend gave it to me. Is that a problem? No, the problem is you don't recognize me. What do you mean? Wait. Oh my god, Carmen, is that you? <laughs> of course, it's me. It took you a while to recognize me. I missed you so much, boy. I'm so glad to meet you. How long have you been here? Last week. What are you doing here now? I went here for my sister's graduation. When I was getting out of here, I saw you holding that tarantula. Yeah, a coincidence. How are you doing? I'm fine. I will go to a university in this country. How about you? Me too. We should have a coffee later. What is your Facebook? Search this mail to find my Facebook, Carmen underscore, FCNO055, at gmail.com. Okay, here it is. I found it. I'm leaving now. We will meet later. That night. Hey, boy, do you have some free time this Sunday morning? Yes, I do. I was about to ask you out for a coffee. Can you come? Sure, let's meet at the NYC brunch store. Sunday. 10 a.m. All right, I will pick you up. It's okay, I can go by myself. I have something to tell you. See you there. Really? Can you say it now? No, not now. That Sunday morning at the NYC brunch store. What, what did, did you, you intend, intend to, to tell me? me? Do you want to say it first? No, you are a girl. You can say it first. All right, I am in a relationship now. Whoa! What's wrong with you? <coughs> Does that mean you have a boyfriend? Yeah, are you okay? I don't think so. Here is my boyfriend. Sorry for being late. You must be her childhood friend. Yeah, that's right. My name is Sam. I'm Isabel's boyfriend. It's an honor to meet you. I'm Carmen. Nice to meet you too. So what did you intend to tell me? You, you look more beautiful after a decade. Yeah, I mean it. That's all. Did you expect more than that? All right, do you want to join our party, man? No, I just want to get out of here. Hey, what was that? How weird. Another day. Carmen, are you okay? What kind of question is that? You were acting so weird at the brunch store. Don't mind that. You have a boyfriend already. We should keep a distance. Carmen, you are acting so weird. Are you hiding something from me? Just say it. We can solve it together. Go away. <laughs> what was that? Are you crazy? I, let me help you. Are you okay? Stay away from me. What did I do? A few days later at Isabel's house. Hello, Isabel. Sam, did you just show up from nowhere? Haha, -ha, maybe. I will say straight to the point. I love you. Let's get married. What did you say? I just turned 18 a few days ago. That's not even a problem. The point is we both love each other. Isn't that right? I have this for you. But someone showed up. Do you want to explain this? Huh? Grace? Why? Why are you here? Who is she? I am his wife. Do you want to ask anything else? Are you serious? Are you trying to steal my husband? Sam, what does this mean? I, I. Hey, where are you going? Come back. Trust me, he flirted with me first. And I didn't know he already had a wife. Do you think I'm going to believe you? Give me $20,000.
otherwise, I'll upload this on the internet. And the law won't leave you alone. What? I don't have such a large amount of money. Hey, you insane man! Get the hell off me! You both should compensate for insulting her and get out of here. Hey! Are you trying to mess with us? Yep. Flashback. Isabel already has a boyfriend. Why am I jealous because of that? Hey, I targeted another prey. And I already have a plan to use her. I think I've seen him before. Was that Isabel's boyfriend? Why was he with another woman? Don't tell me that he's having an affair. What should we do now? We will create a scandal and record the whole thing. Then, we will threaten to release the video online and slander her for stealing a lover. She will be scared of being ashamed and give us a large amount of money to cover things up. That is not a bad plan. Here, put this football inside you. It will help to make you look like you're pregnant. All right. Yeah, good. We should get the hell out of here before someone catch us. Well, good plan. But you can't cover everyone's eyes. Back to present. You little devil, hand it over. Oh no! Whoa, so your baby is a football, huh? I'll destroy you. I forgot to tell you that I've been learning martial arts since I was a kid. Give me all of your money, otherwise, this video will be sent to the police. Dang it! This is not over yet. You fool, wake up and get the hell out of here. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention that. But how did you find out about that? Just by accident. Can you tell me in detail? Well, I was heartbroken, so I wandered around the street. Then suddenly, I saw those two. Who made you heartbroken? You. What do you mean, me? Remember when you told me that you already had a boyfriend? It's quite a shock to me. Well, I was jealous. I think you understand why I've been acting so weird, right? I also want to apologize for pushing you. Can I have a chance? I love you, girl. Hey boy, didn't you know you looked so cute when you were jealous? Now understand the feeling of being teased. Don't move, Carmen. Okay. After that, Isabel and Carmen officially became lovers. And a few years later, they got married. The end.